said, uh, and we, we are going to have to present your characters, give, a, give us a little backstory on them. I actually would like for uh, the art people to kind of be in one area, and maybe the Carl design people to be in one area. And considering uh, the TV game that we're working on right now, since we're doing it in game media, there's not a huge programming aspect. Probably the, uh, the programmers and the designers are going to be working really close together. So. Uh, I think that for this, I think the designers would probably be just as interested in seeing characters that we're working with. Oh, we're not going to be, no, okay. we're a small group, we're not going to be separate. All I right. just kind of wanted us to all be in a particular All right, then why don't we just split in the size of the room? I don't want to speak too far apart. Just closer together. All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good. Everybody who's only one person can just kind of just come out for a second. And I couldn't come up with a good job. I just did all that. So I drew a dying animal. Oh, you see what I did? What? I the I'm actually going to go to the next class. Well, it's the first class. Okay, I created. You don't get one. Okay, everyone's here. Right. Hi, be friends. I didn't practice it, so I'll just go. I created, um, let's see, I came up with two knights, uh, two brutes, uh, one gunner, uh, and about like five different ma mage type cla uh, characters. Uh, the first knight class I came up with uh, was like a blacksmith type character or like a mechanic, and he carries a giant hammer, he wears wielding goggles. And basically, he's just like a big, rugged, uh, tough guy who like knows his way around machines. And he can make his own weapons and accessories. And he can repair anything, like repair an elevator, repair uh, um, a vehicle, uh, and hijack a vehicle. And um, maybe a second, I think that's it, make him stronger. Uh, next one is, is uh, Ah, uh, the first group class I came up with was a uh, giant battle android, um, because you know, what better meat shield to have than one that's made out of metal, if that works, it makes sense. Um, let's see, he has giant shield arms for defensive blocking. Um, obviously, you can pick up large items with these, just as, we, um, as the character concept was um, what he wanted. Um, uh, tons of armor, and maybe, um, I was thinking maybe he has a grappling hook instead of like, um, being able to jump high since he doesn't seem to have really that uh, strong legs to jump. He just uses the back hooks to extend from his arms, uh, grabs onto ledges and reach other heights. So, and uh, some, what else do we have? Nope. Okay. Civilian. Created some civilians because I was a little bit in a wet that night. Um, so we have a female civilian and a spaceman civilian, uh, some retro style outfit. And then my first mage class that we came up with um, hackers or scientists. Yeah, just over, I think he's explained more in the next page. Although this is the third uh, mage that we came up with a kid hacker who can control. Anything robotic, computerized, or programmable, um, like can shape to control with robots, and do whatever he wants, use them as units um, um, to go on suicide missions for now. Control an elevator, um, activate blocks, uh, vehicles. Um, of course, it should have gadgets everywhere. But, um, I don't know what to do with them, so I get a knife close. I don't know why. Scientists, self explanatory. I have a question. Okay. So the kids have it? How do you see his um, ability to control computerized stuff? How do you see that working in like game for the last? Um, well, if there's like if he's in a computerized environment where there's always like tons of computers, or maybe he has like a gadget, uh, not a lot, and he pulls out of his pocket, hooks it into the um, computer, and somehow has the knowledge to mess around with it and control it whatever to do whatever he wants. It's but gameplay wise, in the game actual, you know, you have a control in your hand, you're playing with this character. How does oh, that come back to you? Maybe you can actually see what he uh, is missing with. So, but um, the character has to be able to, uh, you know, hold parts, hold on its own against an enemy. Oh. Because maybe it's, he uh, needs to find a unit key. Uh, maybe he can control another unit. Like I had another, I had another concept where 
um, maybe like he, uh, how the brute class uh, battle mech comes into the team. Maybe the kid like took control of the giant mech and has the giant mech doing all his uh, fighting for him. So you saw it was more of a story element than a gameplay element? It was more like an interactive element um, the way they... Um, no, I mean just his... Uh, his role? You no, know, his computer controlling ability. You didn't see it so much as just something that that pushed the story forward or like an ability you'd have in the game? Uh, maybe an ability inside the game maybe. Like, I could see it working in, I, I've played, uh, there's a game called um, Odd World where you could uh, possess, you could, you could use the shoulder buttons and possess people mm -hmm. and then the screen would change every person Sorry. that you're possessing mm -hmm. and then you could like, but, but the character itself was just sitting there going like this. Yeah, <laughs> so, that too. And you could be killed when you were doing yeah, that. Yeah, you could be killed. Yeah. So uh, I think maybe if we did something like that, it could work. Oh, you were going to have to co op that. I have no oh, idea. Damn, well, one of the problems with the hacker guy is. is what if he's like your typical pet class? Like he just has that robot lackey that follows him around yeah. everywhere? Well, like one of the problems with the hacker guy is like, say you go into the big boss <coughs> chamber and there's nothing around. Does he just get exactly. stomped yeah, on? Or you could do something like this. You've got, so your hacker character, like, we could just throw him. He just has, like, his. Mentioned a robot and lackey that he controls. So, so he but then you actually do anything. Like whenever, whenever he needs right to right climb up the ledge, you know, the climbing the floor, like just like where he gets on the robot, and the robot basically just carries him like up the ledge or whatever. So basically, you control the robot, and like the guy kind yeah, of like, tags it's along. Like you're actually controlling the robot, and the guy is just like following a little bit behind him. Mm. I, I, I still, I, I don't know how that would work gameplay wise, just because in co-op. That, like, like I said, the character really has to be able to fend for itself. Well, we're not and really. We're, we, in order, to, in order to do something like that, I think we'd have to really tailor the levels to fit that character. Yeah. Well, we're Maybe not really here, like this, like to, like to discuss all the uh, what wouldn't work on really this. I just want to see what everybody's ideas were as far as gameplay was, and we'll get into the logistics of it later. Okay. Uh, okay. My next one. Um, the gunner class, because um, it took me a while to think up a. Uh, character type that was a gunner class and a ranged attacker without Don't having guns. Sorry. Yeah, without having guns, and that was like really hard. It's oh. Tron. Yeah, so I created this um, athlete type character who was like a ball player, like kind of similar in the fashion of like how Tron is with them in the arena with their uh, Tron disc instead of this, he has a giant energy ball. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so maybe it's like some futuristic sport, and I was thinking, maybe some extreme dodgeball with energy balls, you know? So they, um, so let's see, they have, uh, um, like the ball can rebound back, and, and let's see, they have like, um, energy dispersion gauntlets, you know, it makes it, uh, can stop the ball when it comes towards him, or um, accelerate it so he throws it even faster so it hurts a lot more. And then he also has like heavy light boots, you know, just this foot. So maybe he like, uh, like skates across the floor using his um, like hover boots. And then I'll come up with, I think I've improved upon his uh, costume a bit. You know, <laughs> and give him some glowing shoulder pads with lights. And also created a female type uh, uniform. And shows some other sketches of how like, um, how you can use the ball more, uh, usefully within the game, like maybe you can use the ball, toss it, and like activate a, a far away switch or button that's like, um, that's not reachable. And then, or maybe you can like, you know, since we're not using lightsabers, since that's too Star Wars-y, maybe you can use the ball to deflect lasers, since, you know, it's also made of great uh, energy as well. Is, uh, now, does, does he have just one and it comes back to him, or does he it just... I was thinking, like, like, does he maybe like charge it up like uh, Samus? Uh, I also have a concept as well, Super Ball Energy that recharges it with concepts. So maybe like, like maybe the gunner actually can, can make a, uh, an extra ball out of his hand so he can throw, throw three at a time. But I'm saying the one that he has, he throws it and it doesn't come back. It, no. It, it just keeps can, going. Yeah, I was thinking like maybe it does come back, you know, kind of like how Captain America always throws a shield and someone always comes back to him. Um, so yeah, I thought it was like, you know, doing a duke and a giant energy ball. In that case, though, we Yeah. If, if he doesn't make his if he doesn't make his own balls, then it would um, be much better for it to come. Right. Back. But um, did you also think of the scenario where he throws it in by some chance it does 
doesn't come back and it's going to happen in that case. Maybe, uh, like lightsaber throw and like it's knocked down, you have to go grab it again. And then he has to go grab it again. Yeah. 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 Well, I guess like yeah. beat up in the process. But then how would you fight with that? He wouldn't. He would have to run the thing around. He can dodge. He'd be, uh, be like, I'm going to be long. <laughs> yeah, yeah character flaw. I'm just wondering if it could be a thing. Even if we're, like, if we're programming it, if we're Well, you can, there shouldn't be a glitch where the ball doesn't come back. Oh, right. Right. You yeah, should well, not, think yeah, we don't, yeah. yeah, we should not like plan for a glitch, basically. All you'd have to do is say, like, if the ball object is not connected to the person, generate another ball object. And it would seem like, oh, I just teleported it back. I'd, rather than having, like, like, he, he did something on his, yeah, I would, whatever, dissipate the energy of the ball. Yeah, I would just rather not plan for a glitch like that as a player concept. But it's a player this concept. This isn't a physical glitch. ball. This is like a ball made of energy. So you just like, you know, use the sci-fi excuse like, oh, you know, if he dissipated, he used a control on his arm to dissipate the energy. That was uh, yeah. that worked. What else do I got? What's the next one? Oh, this one. Oh, so uh, see, so shows a picture of the kid hacker taking control of a giant knife custom car. No, it's that one. So wait, would the, the mech wouldn't be a character by itself, it'd be these two together? It could be, or it couldn't be. That's a uh, design team. That's that a cool idea if it was both of them together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it it just the one that the idea has is. Or maybe like, um, maybe the battle mech came into the team because the blacksmith type character made him. Yeah, you could give garage. the uh, mech energy. So that like, yeah, he can pick up and throw stuff, but he can't do it like all the time. Because, like, I mean, that's one of the big falls with, like, the huge guys. They're just big all the time, so you can, like, run out of energy. I do stuff with the guy. We wish they run out of energy. Lots of bullets. So you come all the time. Bigger guy or guns. Lots of bullets. Oh, police. I'm missing it. Ah, uh, a second night class. I didn't have time to really build uh, much. He's kind of straightforward anyway. You know, a riot cop with uh, you know, a shield and electric baton. Maybe they, uh, maybe they um, uh, banned uh, firearms for in the future, so they're forced to use electric batons. And then see another mage class doctor. Since I saw inside the concept that he is um, someone that can heal, so why not stick a doctor in there? But I don't know how uh, any other things he can do. Like he's speaking of chemists. Oh, yeah, so it's broken. Like, like the but I didn't have time to draw a chemist. Well, stuff. doctors can be chemists. Well, you can do with the if you stick with the doctor, you know, you can have you can have like, you know, one thing to heal part of members, but to actually attack, they'll have like another syringe. Oh, listen, I saw like, I saw some concept that some person made on Demonar. He created like a bat a battle mech uh, healer type character, but like one arm has a one arm has the healing uh, syringe, and the other arm has a chainsaw. So it was like. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, wow, that's a neat battle mech to have. What I'm saying is, like, <laughs> one healing syringe, and then sort of like hit them, like a poison syringe. Oh, yeah, poison. And, like, maybe he's, he'd also guys. be good at, you know, kind of like stealthy kills. Like, if, if he can. But that'd be a rogue, not a. Well, I'm just saying, like, obviously he's not like a ninja, so he wouldn't be caught easily. Like, if he were able to sneak up on him, because he's a doctor, he'd know, like, he'd be able to you know, snap the neck. Oh, um, chiropractic. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> chiropractic on that. <laughs> For enemies that aren't a lot. It's like you know where they snap it. Just like a character that's good. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, Zarl is uh, <laughs> running out of like, ideas. So I came up with, uh, why not a cybernetic gorilla? He's you know, basically Donkey Kong, but larger with cybernetic arms. Um, uh, yeah. Donkey yeah. Kong. Yeah. Carrying a giant ton of bombs, apparently. The first round is a little messed up. Yeah. This is a bomb. It's 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 a bomb. When we came up with the classes, I wanted people to take them as <coughs> no, we wanted people to take them as uh, as more of suggestions on how they fight and how they behave rather than their actual jobs. And the fact that he did like a blacksmith, and I liked the, the riot cop idea actually, 
And uh, the fact that he tried to be as original as possible, I, I appreciate. So.